What's going on guys this is Nikhil from Mobox and in today's After Effects tutorial I'm gonna show you guys how to create this really cool looking 3D strokes in After Effects using a third party plugin called Trapco 3D Stroke. Alright so here we are in After Effects so let's start by creating a new composition which is gonna be our main comp. So I'm just gonna rename this to main. Let's make this maybe around 5 seconds. Let's make some space right away here. There we go. And let's drag in our logo. You can drag in any logo that you have. So I'm gonna just drag in a logo just like that. Let me scale this down a bit. There we go. Scale down this a bit as well. Let's bring this down just like that. Maybe I'll make it around 15, I guess. That looks pretty good. And this to 30. Yep, let's create a background by hitting Ctrl Y to create a new solid. This is gonna be PG for background. Let's keep it an off-white, something like that and hit OK. Let's practice. So there we go. Everything is just in place. Let's turn on our title action safe and set the logo somewhere around there. Let's close this up. So there we are ready to go. So let's create a new solid by hitting Ctrl Y. And this is going to be our stroke layer. So I'm going to rename this to stroke. Doesn't really matter. You can, you know, keep it at white or you can choose any color that you want. Doesn't really matter. I'll select layer. Go to trap code. And there we should have 3D stroke. Just drag it and drop it on the layer. So right now you don't see anything. Let's hide our other layers just like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to select my pen tool, turn on this logo and create, I can create whatever kind of shape that I want to go with. But for now, I'm going to go with the same shape that you saw in the preview example. Something like a semicircle, you can say, circulating the logo. Depends on you what kind of a look that you want to go with. Something like that. There we go. And then what we can do is set this from none to kind of any kind of layer that I want to go with. And you can see we get this weird kind of square. I don't know why we get this. Set this to none. Alright, so there we go. Turn on our taper. So we get something like that. Hide the mask so we see it more properly. And let's tweak some settings right away here. Maybe I'll increase the or decrease the thickness let's change the color so we can see it more properly let's keep it blue for now all right so let's maybe i'll make it something like that we don't need any feather then we can animate our start just like that as you can see and the end as well something like that but you can see we get kind of a goopy effect so we need to you know keyframe the thickness according to our animation so i'm going to set this to two at the very beginning Maybe you just make this two. Set the end to zero. Create a keyframe on the end and the thickness. Go right over there to around, let's say, maybe I'll go to 15 frames. And bring this up to all the way up to 100. And I'll bring this up to, let's go with 10. Yep, that looks pretty good. To you so we can see the keyframes. Go to, let's say, one second. And what we can do is actually go back right over here, create a keyframe on the start, go to one second and bring this up to 100 just like that and bring this back down to zero. Oh, not to zero, two. So there we go. There we have it. Very simple. Let's hit you so we can see all the keyframes just like that. Select them and hit F9 to ease them. Go to graph editor and I'm going to create kind of a peak. So we get some really nice motion to our animation. Something like that, so like this and drag it just like that. And by the way, if your graph doesn't look like this, you can just right click and make sure you're working in the speed graph and not in the value graph. So yeah, just keep that in mind. Just keep it and just drag it just like so. So let's see our animation pretty quick. 
yep that is looking pretty cool it's a bit slow so we can maybe I'll make it up to 20 frames I guess let's go with 25 so we can select all the keyframes hit alt and just drag it just like that let's see yep that looks pretty better maybe I'll increase this I'll go undo hit ctrl z to undo it and increase the thickness to maybe around 15 or oh, let's go with 12 that looks pretty good you can also play around with the offset if you want to you know kind of a really cool effect that you can you can achieve some really cool effect with that you can see but I'm just gonna leave it at zero for now and we can also play around with the thickness of the taper if you want to you can see you can create something like that play around with then the taper start as well but I leave this up to you guys to you know experiment a bit so maybe I'll just set this to around 20 let's set this to 24 maybe now let's see what we have yep this is looking a bit more better yep that looks pretty cool actually and let's see what else we can do actually that's all we need to do right over here really simple to create you can also turn on motion blur if you want to but in this case I'm just gonna not do it and then what I can do is I can select the layer hit ctrl D two times to create three copies and select the middle one and set the track mat to alpha mat and also make it a bit darker color because this is gonna be our shadow so you can see we get some really really nice depth to our shape or to our stroke so you can see it looks a bit more better so let's pretty quickly set the colors that we want to set up so I'm gonna set this to white all right set this to kind of an off-white and set this one this is our main color set this to white so now we have something like that and anytime if you think you're not happy with the stroke you can go and manipulate the taper start and end to create you know kind of a bit more good looking stroke you need you just need to tweak some settings and figure out what fits for you guys so you can just tweak it a little bit maybe something like that looks pretty good yep that is looking actually really good and then basically what i do is just select this and pre-comp it let's pre-comp this call this stroke underscore oh one hit ok and then we and we can create a bunch of copies like maybe I'll cre create three copies and just drag it somewhere on like that maybe scale this down a bit something you know something like that place it somewhere around there maybe scale this around a bit more just take your time you know select this one you will keep it somewhere around there and to create more variation what I'm gonna do is Pretty quickly, I'm gonna go right over here, select the stroke one and hit, and hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. Go right over here and we can change some properties. So pretty quickly, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna first of all get rid of this two. So I'm just gonna delete them. So we have the one single stroke. And let's see what we can do right over here. I'm gonna set this to around eight. Make it kind of a thick stroke. And let's make this 30. Yep, I think that thick stroke looks pretty good and then we can just drag in just like that make it red so we can just identify it and let's see where we are there it is it is to just scale this down a bit and maybe I'll place it somewhere around there maybe make it a bit more smaller kind of a thing and you can always you know rotate it and place it according to your requirement just take your time set this to somewhere around there hit control D oh hit control D duplicate it just one copy right over here there we go maybe I'll just scale this up a bit like that and then we can go into stroke one and change the colors but what I can do is actually let's try to change color by adding a U and saturation let's see I don't really know if it would work or not and it's not working so I'm just gonna delete it we can add a fill if you want to but by that you can you know you can get rid of that 
you'll not see that shadow that we were getting which looked really really cool so i'm just going to drag it first of all below we don't need the fill so what i can do is basically i can go into the stroke tool and change the color to the color of our logo so let's go right over here select um let's select this color go to stroke 2 and add this color so now we have something like that which is not really visible so let's make it a bit darker yep you can see we get this really cool look then i can just select all of them pre it, call this strokes and add a drop shadow increase the softness something like that and one thing i forgot to do is to displace them a bit so you can just displace them somewhere around like that so we get some really nice variations you know something like that you can see looks really really cool so let's go into our main comp so you can see it looks really really cool maybe i'll decrease the, the opacity a bit somewhere around there increase the distance you can just play around with this rotate it a bit more something like that just decrease the just need to tweak some settings let's turn on everything so now we have something like that looks really really cool as you can see really simple to create and really easy and one more thing that you can do is you can also put it onto the text so you can just you know anytime grab any of them let's grab this too hit ctrl c to copy it go into main composition ctrl v to paste it let's bring this down just like that and rotate it and just place it according to your text so maybe i'll just scale this a bit more bigger something like that as you can see see but as you can see it looks really weird so you can just turn this up into 3d layer and just rotate this up according to your requirements and it should still work pretty good so you can see there's some settings tweaking right over here we place it somewhere around there and the same with this one let's go make it 3d and rotate it a bit just like that You know just take your time just take your time so as you can see it's really simple and easy to create and i hope this video helps so if you have any questions or any queries do let me know in the comment section below and i'll see you in my next video till then take care and thank you so much for watching guys and i'll see you in the next one